a very good morning to all of you friends today we are going to study about class 10 biology that is our topic is life processes but today we are going to study about sub topic that is photosynthesis okay so let us begin with photosynthesis now we already know that photosynthesis means to synthesize food in presence of light energy okay as you know only green plants are capable of synthesizing food from solar energy or light energy so that process of food making by green plants is called photosynthesis okay so if you try to define photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process by which green plants because they have chlorophyll in them so green plants they can synthesize food from solar energy okay now these green plants which contain chlorophyll molecules in them these chlorophyll molecules they are capable of trapping solar energy okay so in presence of chlorophyll and in presence of sunlight green plants they are capable of combining carbon dioxide and water to produce glucose that is food and oxygen okay so this is the simplest equation for photosynthesis so green plants because they contain chlorophyll in presence of sunlight and by combining carbon dioxide with water molecule they produce glucose and oxygen okay so the importance of photosynthesis lies in its products that means glucose is produced so photosynthesis is capable of generating enough amount of you can say food energy for the whole plant as well as animal kingdom and photosynthesis also is responsible for evolution of oxygen that is required by living organisms for the process of respiration so these two you can say products and by products of photosynthesis are very very important to determine the significance of photosynthesis okay why is photosynthesis so important in nature because it generates two things food and oxygen for all the plant as well as animal kingdom now during this process of photosynthesis you know here you can see six molecules of carbon dioxide combines with six molecules of water to produce only one molecule of glucose and again six molecules of oxygen okay so this is the you can say general equation for photosynthesis but now because you are in class 10 you should also know that some amount of water is also generated during photosynthesis okay so we can say that this is another very important equation or it's a balanced chemical equation for photosynthesis that i would request you all to memorize okay because during the process of photosynthesis some amount of water is also generated so it is better to learn this equation okay let us see how is this equation different from the previous one here you see six molecules of carbon dioxide reacts or combines with 12 molecules of water to produce one molecule of glucose six molecules of oxygen and six molecules of water okay so you will learn this balanced chemical equation for photosynthesis once again when six molecules of carbon dioxide combines with 12 molecules of water it gives one molecule of glucose six molecules of oxygen and six molecules of water okay so the question may come for formation of one molecule of glucose how many molecules of carbon dioxide is are, are required okay so you'll say six molecules of carbon dioxide are required got it so six molecules of carbon dioxide are required for producing one molecule of glucose only whereas six molecules of oxygen and six molecules of water are generated during this process okay so once again what is photosynthesis Photosynthesis is the process in which green plants in presence of sunlight combines carbon dioxide and water to produce glucose oxygen okay glucose and oxygen so in this way we can define photosynthesis so this is the balanced equation for photosynthesis now let us come to the events for photosynthesis or the steps which are involved okay so this is also a very very you can say very common question in class 10 that is what are the important events during the process of photosynthesis so we are going to memorize only 
three events one two three in this three events we will see point number two it has again two points okay so let us see the first one absorption of light energy by chlorophyll this is the first event or the first process of photosynthesis okay once again absorption of light energy by chlorophyll this is step one step two conversion of light energy into chemical energy in the equation if you remember the equation you can see that chemical energy is produced from light energy okay chemical energy means glucose that is produced from light energy so light energy is changing into chemical energy okay so conversion of light energy into chemical energy and along with that there is also splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen that means if you see please come here once again let us see when chlorophyll molecule absorbs sunlight then it passes the energy to water molecule and water splits into hydrogen and oxygen so splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen okay let us see once again splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen which water molecule this one that is the reactant okay so step 2 over now step 3 reduction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrate that is glucose that is c6h12o6 okay reduction of carbon dioxide that means here carbon dioxide is reduced to form one molecule of glucose okay so six molecules of carbon dioxide they are reduced to form one molecule of glucose you have read about reduction and oxidation reactions in chemical uh, chemistry so in chemical equations if you if you consider this as a chemical equation so we say carbon dioxide is reduced to form carbohydrate okay one second let us quickly memorize these events of photosynthesis first one absorption of light energy by chlorophyll okay this chlorophyll molecule absorbs the sunlight so it traps or fixes sunlight okay so chlorophyll molecule fix or traps sunlight second conversion of light energy into chemical energy we all know that this sunlight will be converted into glucose then splitting of water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen when chlorophyll molecules they absorb sunlight they pass the energy to water and water splits into h plus and oh minus so hydrogen and oxygen and reduction of carbon dioxide into carbohydrate okay this carbon dioxide that is that is another reactant is changed into glucose molecule so this is called reduction so these are the three important events or steps of photosynthesis okay so this often comes what uh, like uh, explain any two events of photosynthesis any two events okay so out of this four you can explain any two but basically it is in this way like one for one sentence we have step one for two we have two separate sentences and for the third event we have another sentence okay so basically you remember three are there got it now we know this is a chemical equation for photosynthesis we know now the events okay in short what are the events for photosynthesis now where does photosynthesis takes place that means what is the site for photosynthesis site means place where photosynthesis takes place okay now photosynthesis takes place in our next diagram we will see that it you know it takes place in the leaves okay the leaves have mesophyll cells in them these mesophyll cells are rich in chloroplastids okay so here I have drawn the diagram of a chloroplastid. Now in this chloroplastid you can see outer membrane, inner membrane. Okay, Some coin like structures or sac like structures which are called thylakoids. And these thylakoids they form a stake like structure which is collectively called granum. So these are separate grana. Okay, This is one granum. Granum is made up of a series of thylakoid. This thylakoid in the membrane of the thylakoid chlorophyll molecules are present. Okay, so where are the chlorophyll pigments present? They are present in the membrane of the thylakoid sacs. Okay, where are thylakoid sacs present? They are present in the grana. Where is grana present? It is present in the chloroplastid. Okay, so in higher classes you will see that 
photosynthesis takes place in two separate steps that is called light reaction and dark reaction so the granum is the site for light reaction and the stroma that is the matrix of the chloroplast is the site for dark reaction okay so this is the structure of chloroplastid okay this is the site for photosynthesis so what is the site for photosynthesis it is the chloroplastid okay that means the cell organelle in the plant cell where photosynthesis takes place so we will write chloroplastid okay or chloroplast now let us see a simple diagram by the help of which we can find out where are these chloroplast or chlorophyll molecules actually present in the you can say cross section of a leaf now let us see here i have drawn a simple diagram okay of the cross section of a leaf you know leaf is very thin isn't it just like the you can say breadth of this paper but when we observe it under the microscope we can see a layer of cells present okay so let us see what are the different layers of cells which are present here so in this case you will see here i have drawn the upper epidermis okay the upper epidermis this is the lower epidermis just below the upper epidermis you can see there are some different types of cells some elongated cells and some irregular cells okay and this is the lower epidermis where guard cells are present so once again there is a waxy cuticle waxy coating that is present just above the you can say upper epidermis that is the dorsal side of the leaf the dorsal side okay this is the dorsal side and this is the ventral side so the dorsal side means the upper epidermis so upper epidermis these are the cells you can see large vacuole present and each cell has nuclei okay so these are the nuclei of the tissues now in the upper epidermis just below the upper epidermis you can see some elongated cells which are called palisad parenchyma cells okay palisad parenchyma you have read about parenchyma in class 9 okay parenchyma cholenchyma sclerenchyma so these are called palisad parenchyma cells just below the palisad parenchyma we can see the spongy parenchyma okay spongy parenchyma these two constitute the mesophyll cells so mesophyll cells are of two types elongated palisad parenchyma cells and some irregular spongy parenchyma cells okay these are the spongy parenchyma cells okay you can see the chloroplastids are more in case of palisad parenchyma there are also some in spongy parenchyma but they are very less in upper epidermis as well as in the lower epidermal cells okay so chloroplastids are mostly present in the you can say mesophyll cells mesophyll cells where photosynthesis takes place okay now you can see here some air spaces are present these air spaces help in movement of oxygen and carbon dioxide during the processes like photosynthesis and respiration okay this is a lower epidermis in the lower epidermis you can see a pair of guard cells which are present okay and this you can say opening is called the stoma okay stomata so this is stoma singular is stoma plural stomata got it now so here we can see that this is the cross section of a leaf now in this cross section we can very nicely say that chloroplastids are present in the mesophyll cells okay now so we can say that in a cross section of a leaf there are different layers of cells so this diagram is very important for you to practice okay now the site for photosynthesis basically we can say in a leaf so leaves are called the kitchen of the cell as you know so in the leaves mesophyll cells are present in the mesophyll cells chloroplastids are present in the chloroplastid granum is present and in the granum thylakoid are present in this thylakoid chlorophyll pigments are present okay so you are supposed to draw this diagram and practice the labeling so here we finish three important topics of photosynthesis that is the definition the chemical balanced chemical equation and the site of photosynthesis that is the chloroplastids the cell organelles okay we have also done the diagram of uh, the cross section of leaf so please practice the diagram of the cross section of leaf thank you so much for watching